Oh my gosh, you guys, what a moment this is. We're just uh, getting things rolling over here. It's 107.5 The River, River on the Rooftop. Uh, Jesse Murph is uh, playing our show tonight. Uh, man, we've been looking forward to this for a while. I've been looking forward to it, too. Do you think <laughs> of this as like a homecoming thing? Like you were born in Nashville, right? I was born somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. But like how much of your life did you spend here before you moved? Not a lot. Pro okay. Probably like four years. Okay. All right. So yeah. not too many memories. I got a couple. Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you have like a favorite venue or something to play in Nashville now that you've been established for a bit? You've played a few? Probably the last one I played, the well, marathon. Oh, yeah, I love that That was that fun. Place. I like that one. That's great. It was super fun. Uh, and tonight, this is a big night. You probably, I mean, this is kind of a new venue, so it's yeah, a new one for you. Yeah, it seems really sick out there, though. Yeah, it's awesome. It's outdoors. Uh, and uh, Jelly Roll is here tonight yeah. as well. Yeah. How many times have you guys played Wild Ones together since uh, since it came out? Quite a few, I'd really? say. Yeah, I think so. Like, uh, I mean, I've seen a couple TV appearances, mm -hmm. and then maybe just, like, he has he, like, come to surprise any audiences during your shows, or vice versa? Vice versa. Vice versa. Yeah, we've okay. done that a couple of times. So, I mean, I, by the time anybody sees this, we will know if it happens tonight, but are you guys talking about it you this have to, You have to wait and see. <laughs> you know, I can't spoil it. Uh, so, talk to me about uh, your beginnings in music. Did you have supportive parents doing this? I, I heard that you, when you were a kid, like, you were so singularly focused on this that you were, like, writing contracts. Or something is that yeah, hundred percent. I've always wanted to do it ever since I was like ten or eleven, and I would I would like make myself like sign contracts that like, I was going to do this. What would they say? I hereby abide that I'm going to be a singer. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. Do you still have them? I do. Wow, what are you going to do with those? You frame them? I should frame you them. You probably should. Yeah, they're just in a notebook right now. I always heard the story a long time ago that like Jim Carrey wrote a check or something that he was like going to be a millionaire by the time he was twenty one. Heard about this? Yeah, so it's very similar and to he what was. you did. It's manifestation. That's just real. Doing. I'm do telling you. Do you believe in it? Hell yeah. Do you? Really? I don't. Know whoa, that I whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know that I do. You just heard about Jim Carrey. What are you talking about? Yeah, those are two examples. I don't know. I think I need a little more proof. But you are, you know. I'm gonna send you some podcast. Okay, please. What, <laughs> do you have one like a suggestion right now? There's this girl named Abram Hicks. Okay. Just look her up. It's about manifestation. Oh yeah. The power of the secret and all, all that. All about stuff. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what's up. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know. Okay. Did you manifest <laughs> this moment right here? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Could have. Uh, so what's next for you? I know you've been releasing like singles here and there. Do you have a, another album in the pipeline, or are you not really going that route? Is it more single based these days? Um, I have a debut album coming out. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a release date? No. <laughs> but but it's going to be soon, though. <laughs> uh, this year? Yeah. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. And I know you're doing a few festivals right now. Do you like doing festivals? I do like doing festivals. Yeah. What's the, what do you like about it? That it's outdoors. I enjoy that. Okay. And that there's, like, people that don't know the music, so you get to, like... It's a good way to acquire new fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get to walk around the festival and sample a little bit of, you know, some things you're not familiar with. Yeah. Uh, when you were younger, did you go to many shows before no. you started this career of your own? I barely went to any shows. I went to, like, one show, actually, before what was, I started what was your What was your first concert? It was a Chris Tomlin show here in Nashville, oh, actually. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so you grew up, th that was in Alabama, right, where you grew up? Yeah. How far from here? Like, how often would you come? Not very often. Um, it's probably about two, three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you got the new album on the way. You're doing some festivals right now. Are you planning, like, a big world tour when the album comes out? Is that in the works? Could be. Do you like <laughs> staying on the road all the time? Or are you kind of craving some time off every now and then? Every now and then, just because I got to write. I don't write while I'm on the road, but that's my favorite part of this. So whenever I'm home, I, like, really enjoy just locking in and writing 24-7. Yeah. What's the process there of why you don't uh, write on the road? I just, my voice can't take it. My voice gets so tired on the road because of the mm. type of songs I'm singing. Okay, yeah. but I would think of writing as a uh, silent activity. Right. I have this <laughs> weird thing, though, that, like, if I write it, I have to cut it that day. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Do, well, if you're on the road, I mean, maybe not doing that, but, like, we ever, like, hum a melody into your voice notes or any of that stuff? I try to keep it so separate. I'll you do? do it. Okay, yeah. good. It's probably good to have that division, those lines are drawn. I think so. Uh, well, I'm excited that you're here tonight. This is going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see you up there and see if there's any surprises with Jelly Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to tell me anything, are you? You're going to make me wait and see. You got to wait. Well, thank you for being here. This is River on the Rooftop. I'm back here with Jesse Murph, and uh, we're going to have one hell of a night. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Yes.